What's up, guys? This is the Rofman, and I am back, bringing you to the 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 first episode of my rebooted France campaign. Um, so, <clears throat> as I kind of outlined in my comeback video, uh, I'd pretty much gone on a direction that I really wasn't happy with. So, if you remember from the last part, uh, I was really quite content in just not bothering with the Americas and focusing all in on India. So, I was spending lots of money in this region to try and capture some territories. Um, Problem was, was I just started bleeding money, and I'm getting attacked by by the UK and by the Netherlands, and it was just not going well at all. It was a real grind. Um, so how I'd like to change that in the future is st still have an eye on India, like I want to defend this territory to maintain a foothold. Um, but oh, and also prepare forces to land in the Middle East to expand in this area. I think that could be quite fun. Um. But may, but also, I don't want to focus on the Americas, but I want to have a position in the Americas to be able to extract resources from a trade standpoint, because the Americas are worth quite a lot of money for trade. So, sorry, just fiddling with my microphone. Um, yeah, the Americas are worth quite a lot of money from for trade, so I'd be keen in not losing my foothold here as much as I was previously, and it just wasn't. It just wasn't a fun. A fun series to record and I watched the videos back and it just wasn't wasn't a uh, good video to wasn't a good video video to watch so um I've decided to stop and reboot with us with the same general principles same goals um long campaign so 30 regions including all of these areas which involve I have to involve attacking um India anyway so I have to go and take Hindustan and well, this isn't so much of a problem. But yeah, it involves me landing in um, different parts of the world. Um, and as always in these campaigns, there is scope to keep them going, if I'm really enjoying them, which I might do with either the United Provinces or the United States campaign. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So, right, let's crack on. So get my minister for school, doing plug bayonets, standard start, go down to fire by rank, um, start doing some basic economic investment in Paris because Paris is can be a very very wealthy region upgrade the Jesuit college just to keep the uh, consulting levels cranking up let's get a royal observatory to boost uh, spawn rate of gentlemen because as you can see Bordeaux is going to grow in two turns so I'm going to build another school in Bordeaux so I need more gentlemen, I want more gentlemen to capitalise on that and uh, what I also want to be ready for is, I gotta remember this from my last campaign, um, the United Provinces will attempt to, I'll say attempt, they will declare war on Spain. So what I'd like to do is build an army, almost let them take Brussels, so I can capture it back and then take the Netherlands, so I can kind of own the Benelux region and provide another bit of more of a standing jumping off point for... Uh, for operations in Europe. Okay, let's abandon this fort, which you're not going to like. <laughs> yeah, I forget about you all the time. Um, okay. I'm not going to upgrade you. Do that. I'm not going to upgrade that just yet. I'm going to hop over to the Americas for now. Okay, so Quebec is going to be my priority. Let's get that fleet in port. Yeah, Quebec is going to be my base of operations for this region, so it's quite important that I can um, get it up to speed. Let's upgrade furs, let's get an iron mine. Is it low yield? So not ideal, but build roads. Build roads to maximise exports to the ports, because I've probably already discussed before in another video that um, it's the port that's the bottleneck. So you can produce as much as you like in your territory and adjacent territories, but if your port is your port is limited by the amount of exports it can provide um let's upgrade montreal montreal's animalistic so get my i don't know if it makes a difference but in my head i like having my missionaries in the capital i mean in theory i could sit in there so when he's ready he could just hop straight across but it make, for me it makes more sense don't want to upgrade these because the okra confederacy will declare war on me the swines so let's also start building a handful of troops. 
Don't know the Louisiana's yet, but I will get a mission to make them my territory. Windward Islands, you're important, but not so important. Not as important as this region. So let's do you. Average yield gold mine, 1800 to region wealth. Perfect. But importantly, let's get some Hessian line built because as... Uh, and I'm not going to upgrade this because they're probably going to raid me. Um, as the United Provinces declares war on Spain, this region because ripe for the taking and is the only source of... Oh no, I only have the only source of spices. But this is a very wealthy region. It's got a logging camp, abundant yield uh, sugar plantation, low, low yield timber yard, that's not so great, but abundant yield gold mine and a high yield gem mine... gem... gem minefield. Minefield! Um, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So, hop over to India only building I want to do is build cement fortifications. If I'm going to hold this territory, I'm going to pretty much have to give up investing in any of its infrastructure, just focus on this and the port when it arrives and fortify the heck out of this. Uh, but I need a strong economy, so I don't want to pour too many troops into it just yet. Okay, so I've agreed. I can't upgrade that. Oh, I can upgrade that. 18% bonus in regional tax income. But first, I think I want to do a bit more. Let's do some road building. Actually, first, forgot all about you, Newfoundland. Let's build you, let's build you, let's build you. Okay, is Newfoundland, while it's not necessarily a massively valuable province, um, it's lots of cheap. There's lots of cheap ways to expand the earnings potential of this of this region, so it's always worth doing. Um, I think that'll do it. Wait, wait a minute before I do anything too silly. Let's go get some trade agreements with my uh, nearby friendly Catholic allies. <laughs> right. Night, uh, Italian states. Really? Don't want to trade with the German states just yet. Persia. How about you? Oh, damn. Whoops. Well, Persia's not going to... Oh, they're only indifferent. Probably threatening a Persian. All you get is just indifference back. Denmark? Okay, I'm definitely trying the, the minor ones first, because even though they're not worth as much, um, I'm going to piss off... Sorry. Frustrate a significant number of these nations. Don't want to trade with the Ottomans. They're usually a brilliant trade partner, but I'm going to be attacking them. No, don't want... Don't want to give you military access. Mughals. Nope. Marathas. Nope. Britain. No, not Alliance. Huh. <laughs> Well, at least it gives me positive uh, positive modifiers against them. That's always nice. And I'd also like to do a bit more... Um, be a bit more cognizant of... Well, actually, I'm going to move you to here. Be a bit more cognizant of the trading aspects. That's not something I've done so much um, in any of my campaigns. Even as the United Provinces. So with the whole trade region mechanic... Um, so I like to be a bit more aware of that because that can be very, very, very high earners. Path blocked. Okay, well then sail around it then. You're a boat. <laughs> you are not governed by, you know, such limitations. Let's get my rake up here in Amsterdam. So yeah, I need to kind of... Ooh, and you get my... Let's get, let's get my missionary in Paris. Let's see if it makes a difference. Plus point four. No, no difference. Um, but yeah, I like having them in the capital just because I don't forget them as well with that symbol because the symbols always make me want to figure out what the hell is going on. But I need to be ready for that. Yeah, well, I'd like the United Provinces to attack Brussels and capture it so I can have it. You want me to... You want me to... You want to give me to give over Upper Canada so I can have Croatia. Interesting proposal. Right on the doorstep of the Ottoman Empire? No, not yet. 
Montreal's not worth anything to me yet, but it's worth something to me in terms of... Oh, there we go. Call my allies. And the United Provinces has no allies in the war. Yeah, so here come their stuff to raid me and blockade me in. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to defeat their armies in the field. And then they're going to regret it. And I also need to build some militia units to, to uh, garrison my ports. Military alliance... Why would I give you this super cool, useful territory for this piece of landlocked rubbish surrounded by enemies? No, thank you, Poland. Not interested. See? Military alliance? Yes, we're very friendly, so why not? Then it will be kind of a bit of a, a bulwark against um, the Prussians when they start getting antsy. Or, the, or just the other smaller Germanic tribes. <laughs> Call allies. Even Sweden's got involved. See, if Sweden takes one of those regions, fine, they can have it. <laughs> I'll just surround it with troops. To totally not capture at a later date. That's just not what'll happen at all. Venice... Venice being Venice... See, I'm upset, upset. My good old Catholic allies just next door would not trade with me. How unfortunate. To be honest, I should trade with Bavaria and whatnot. Yeah, fine. Be silly. I'm going to try, actually. I said I, said I wasn't going to trade with them, but... Cool. No money. I'm not giving you money. And I'm allied with Westphalia. Oh, it's because they hate the... Uh... Okay, I'll ally with you all. You'll probably all break it, but as long as you all stay trade buddies. Okay, let's recruit. No, not line infantry. Which one's cheaper? 524 to recruit with an upkeep of... Upkeep, 135... Upkeep 170, right. So it's the guerrilla mercenaries. Ah, oh, and I also forgot something. Absolute monarchy for the win. <laughs> there you go. Minister problem solved. Um, but yeah, let's start building this arm. Because right now I have no technology advantage. Like I have no... I, oh, what navy have they got? Sloop, Sloop, Brig, Sixth, Fifth. Against Sixth, Sixth, Brig, Sloop, Fifth. I'll do that. Then I'll pop out with something and try and attack them later. New port emerges. Ooh, very handy. Let's add that. And then let's... I think I'm going to still stretch to another turn of... Ooh, what about you? High yield forest. 875 to region wealth. 3% bonus. So I'll get, oh yeah, I'm going to get the wealth. Then I'm going to get the uh, tax modifier. I don't have money to build roads even. Ah, oh, you can have roads. Recruitment. Yeah, I've got a big army in France being built, but I think it'd be worthwhile doing. Mission issued. Oh yeah, so to capture... Um, Louisiana, I have to capture some of the Native American states, the same as um, to get the 13 colonies as Great Britain. But yeah, Windward Islands, I'm not bothered about. Go on, opportunity to intercept. Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, I want, I want them to capture Brussels. That's what I want. Um, I need to keep making selective, careful investments. Because um, right now I'm a bit vulnerable as a trading nation and everyone's at war with me. If I can knock the, if I can knock the United Provinces out. Oh, I've got to realize something I forgot to do. Which is okay. It's not catastrophic. So the army I sent down to... What's well, the army? Handful of troops I sent down to southern France. Yeah, let, let them raid. I don't care. Um, the handful of troops I sent down to southern France... Send them over to South America to form the core of a small army. Because um, I don't need them to be particularly well developed to fight pirates or to fight 
Ah, gentlemen. Oh, God alive. Why? <laughs> oh, God. Austria is broken. Prussia and Poland broken. Austria, Great Britain broken. Austria, Poland. War declared. Ah, uh, Poland and not. Austria, Prussia. As expected. Newfoundland is still not growing. Because I need to get some... Oh, I did send them. Cool. Okay, so I want to get you down here. Disembark my troops. Fix them and get them there. See, now can I get them successfully here? So my agent can climb on board and they've got enough space to zoom back to Europe. Good. Agent collected. God, that almost went absolutely tits up. Add a militia onto the end to uh, sit in this port afterwards because I'm not going to keep fixing it. Okay, so what are you? Two more cav. Bordeaux arrives next turn. Aha. Agent. Catholic missionary. Yeah, let's give this a go. I need to get better at fighting naval battles. It could go horribly wrong. Um, be, I used to be really good in these in Darth Mod. I don't know if Darth Mod changed anything, but... I say I used to be really good. I would just create death stacks of ships and send them in. <laughs> and let them all hash it out. Okay, let's follow the weather gauge. Yeah, generally with... Okay, let's do... 6th, 6th, Admiral's 5th, Brig, Sloop. Get them in a group, line astern, and get going. The formations button opens a browser from where you can select preset... Because, yeah, I used yeah I used to be okay at them, but I'm fairly sure I've lost all of my skills. I mean, you know, there are probably people that are absolutely tops at this. I want to head over here. There are people that are probably absolutely brilliant at this. I am not one of them. So, I'd like to try and... I don't want to do... I don't want to do line by line. I want to get my ships to pound... Lots and to pound this one and knock it out and... And so on and so on. Actually, it's speed up time because I really. It's one thing I can't be bothered with. It's slow naval battles, although it does look very pretty. So the Admiral's Fifth is back here. Smart. They're protecting their Admiral. Um, I've had. To, I've decided to put mine up front, or more up front. Well, yeah, I've decided to put them more up front so actually he can bring his guns to bear because he is my most powerful ship. He should be okay. Um, my six, sixth might take a bit of a pummeling beforehand, but that's their job, sort of. Okay, now let's start turning. Because I should have the weather gauge quite comprehensively. Unless the AI does what the AI does, in the very last minute when they get within range, they just heal over. Yeah, they've got me within range now. What are you hitting? Let's get you firing chain. Yeah, this could be prime chain shot territory. Good broadside with that would get would do the job nicely. Hitting the sloop. Not ideal target, but I'll take it. There we go. I managed to knock a mass down. Sadly not. Because at this point, I would very much like to capture ships. 
Like, at this range, I'm more than happy than to fire round shot. Um, as they get closer, I would very much like to... Okay, let's start to... Cool. Come on, knock a mass down. Okay, my absolute, my formation's absolutely gone to hell because this is what I do. Sixth ray, fighting sixth ray with no. Ideally, I'd like to knock a mass down, slow her down, then sit in front. Round shot. There you go, and they're firing off. Let's see if I can chomp up. Okay, that one's mast is down. Round shot, keep firing. You heal over, round shot, get ready to fire at this guy. Nine, load your cannons. Ten. Oh, shared the, shared the pain. Okay, let's keep you coming along. Loop is dismasted. Oh, this could be a good chance to. Okay, if I spin you to the left. There you go. This sixth. And my Admiral's fifth. If I can get him into the right spot, he is going to be in prime position. So how many am I? It's 91 strong versus 72. Admiral's fifth. If I can get a good set of shots off, I could. Dismaster before she can get within range. I mean, I am absolutely obsessed with trying to okay, do that. Everyone target the same ship because they're out of Currently out of range. Admiral's f this oh my admiral's fifth is looking a bit vulnerable. I'm fighting from the stern. Emerald's fifth is running. Routing said an attack from the stern. She was being raked and did not like it. She's probably come back. No luck dismasting. Okay, let's... Round shot, get ready to engage. This sloop's probably not going to survive. Right. I need to even the scores somewhat. Yeah, if I can knock her sails down. All right, you just spin round.
surrendered. Admiral's flagship surrendered in one go. Some French admiral you are. Oh, I lost it. Oh no, this could be painful. You're routing. It's not looking good. So the French are even... No, I am winning that fight, but... Pummel. Pummel there. Both losing. Alright, let's see if we need to we need to really be clever, and I'm not clever enough. <laughs> 72, 67, not enough. I need to focus on flagship round shot I need to maintain load the cannon Gonna have enough guns to oh, you've been dismasted. You sixth rate is wavering. You surrendered? Surrendered. Right, at this point, I've got a knackered sixth against right. Can get Get out of dodge. <laughs> the brig's probably not going to make it. <laughs> I normally don't retreat in battles, as you guys know, but uh, I'm not going to win this, so it's probably best if I just call it, save some things. I've already lost Sloop 6th and a Admiral's 5th. So what this has confirmed to me is that I need to have overwhelming superiority with ships. <laughs> before I can even contemplate uh, having an actual naval battle. Let's just let this take down. Yeah, that brig's going to... He is probably going to die, because he's going to be... He's that fifth, the fifth is fast enough to chase the brig, because the brig's lost some sails. The sixth is just scooting out of dodge, and he's just not bothered at all. But yeah, that yeah that fifth is is fast enough to maintain pace, so... I fear for the lives of this brick. <laughs> but let's just let this crack on. I can deal with it. Oh, they're about to lose their uh, their capital. Well, they will lose their capital. And then that'll make everything okay. <laughs> See, he's still, see, I'm surprised it's still... Ah, oh, there you go. Well, they've... Unless they spin around. Oh, God. There's their own brig coming to get me. Yeah, so if I'm going to if I'm gonna do... Um, navy stuff, I need to really invest in a top tier navy. Oh, to be honest, how much do I bother about this sloop? Um, what I'm going to do... I oh, you know what. Because I can't be bothered with waiting for them to get all the way there and I don't want to cut the video because I'm getting so close to the end. Uh, this sloop is going to bravely continue the fight. <laughs> Alone, because eventually he'll, he'll probably surrender, and I'm okay with him having a sloop because this sloop is knackered. So let's just. Oh God, he's going the wrong way. No, you know what? I am going to cut the video. Don't want to, but he's going against the weather gauge, and am I wavering? Oh, come on, surrender. Surrender the French ship. Don't I don't want to, oh, if I could press a burn that made them surrender rather than withdraw, that would be perfect. 
Right, I am going to cut the video because it's probably super boring for you guys and <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Rightio guys, so as you can see it's a massive defeat for the French Navy and I lost an admiral but I don't really, <laughs> I don't know much about my uh, French admiral so I couldn't say if that was a crushing blow or not. They'll probably be chased down by this fleet and attacked which is, which is okay, can handle that. Um, but yeah. Looking at the time, I think at the end of this part. So, apart from the abysmal naval fight you've just seen, which I think we've all learned that I can't fight naval battles for a four-letter rude word, and I need overwhelming superiority, which is gives me a bit more of a challenge. <laughs> Radio guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.